Here we go. Okay. Is this jacket like really loud? What's up guys? Welcome back to Life of Lame Butt. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. You clicked on this video, you know what it's about. We're talking about sustainable products today. To start, let's just talk about a few of the places that I like to get my stuff from. So the number one place that I get my zero waste and sustainable products is Package Free Shop. And I'm actually an affiliate of theirs, but until I reach a certain number of subscribers and followers, subscribers on YouTube, followers on Instagram, like I can't put up their affiliate links just because because of how just how it's, that's the way it is so if you wanted to subscribe to me or follow me on instagram you can i just want to let you guys know that's an option now that we've cleared that up package free is a really good one the good fill which is in nashville primarily i think okay, this is really hot i'm sorry this jacket's really cute though i am glad i kept it I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to wear it you know what here's just here's just a list let's just take it in for a second and you guys can just read it and it's just gonna like scroll right here or something anyways low waste living sustainable products blah 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 really important to me right we know that i do want to acknowledge that not all these products are are accessible to every single person honestly these are mostly like pretty low cost as well all the stuff i'm going to show you today i don't know how much that matters to you guys but i just i just want to put it out there i understand that not everyone is like able to spend money on sustainability and i've covered that already on this channel so go check that out we're starting with products and then there's like some habits kind of stuff at the end beginning in the bathroom so this is my bar shampoo and conditioner you know what i'll just go ahead and link everything below that i can find so i have this purple shampoo this is for from the good fill this soap dish is also from the good fill and i believe it's bamboo and then the actual regular bar shampoo and conditioner are from package free shop this smells like pez you guys saw me unbox some of this stuff the other week basically the difference is with these you aren't paying for the water or you're not receiving the water that comes in liquid shampoo and conditioner and of course the reason that it's lower waste and sustainable is because there's no plastic packaging so that's really great sticking with the hair theme just for a second this is my dry shampoo it's powdered instead of in an aerosol can and the packaging is like glass paper and metal on top i try not to wash my hair very often but i do work out and i sweat this is really helpful for making my hair not look greasy and disgusting moving on to this this is a bamboo toothbrush really don't want to show you guys up close because it does have some nasty um toothpaste in it this is biodegradable i'll just throw this in my compost in the backyard when i'm done with it it also has charcoal bristles if you're you know into the charcoal trend next up we have this sunscreen i think i've showed you guys this before when i did my skincare i started wearing this because i have this facial oil stuff that i wear every day and you can't wear it during the day unless you're wearing sunscreen I've started wearing sunscreen on a regular basis. This is 30 SPF, which I don't really know what that means. This is also from Package Free Shop. Okay, I believe this is the last of my bathroom products, but this is my natural deodorant. And I'll be honest with you guys, this is not my favorite natural deodorant I've ever had. I've been using, or I had been using the Native before. I was using the plastic deodorant tubes and I didn't like that. And then I used the cardboard ones and it was just kind of a mess. So I went to this, I'll probably have to try out a couple other ones and see what I like best, but in general, natural deodorant, better for you. It does take a minute to adjust to. Yeah, this is great. Also from Package Free Shop, and this is glass and like tin, aluminum, metal, whatever on top. I mentioned that I didn't really like this specific one that much. If you guys would like to see sustainable or low waste products that I've tried and didn't like and do, like will not be purchasing again let me know because i have some of those as well so this is a fun one these are dog poop bags <laughs> if you have a dog and you don't have a gardener i guess which i don't have you have to pick up your dog's poop fact of life my family used to do it with grocery bags which of course are plastic and don't biodegrade these are from package free shop as well these are made with plant and corn starches according to this all right guys now moving to the more lifestyle kind of changes things i guess these are all about clothes actually oh wait no they're not we'll start with the one that isn't about clothes so okay i save a lot of containers not in a hoarder way guys okay you've probably caught on at this point i propagate some plants i think i have four four or five over there i can't really see all the way different plants that i'm propagating right now which are doing really well actually not to flex i think it's fun to have different glass containers and weird stuff uh lying around but at the same time i think it makes you more conscious of how much waste you take in and how much you're throwing away and stuff like that like these i think i've mentioned before we literally have a million of these in my freezer moral of the story save your stuff put propagations put jewelry put your snacks in them the next thing is 
hand-me-down culture let's call it um when i was a kid i swear half of my clothes were hand-me-downs mostly for my cousin hey if you're watching thanks so much and now still so so much of my clothing is thrifted or honestly still a lot of hand-me-downs hi buddy you want to come over my cat was technically a hand well technically thrifted definitely secondhand um watch this video for more hand-me-downs from this century are great my mom i wear probably her stuff the most but i also have hand-me-downs from my dad like big t-shirts or my grandma last week's video i posted a sweater of hers that i finally figured out how to wear um which i'm really excited about stuff like that and a lot of my mom's stuff is like from the 80s too you know so kind of trendy but that's really cool because then i have this actual vintage clothing to wear so do that ask the people in your life to give you their clothes or their old clothes or something they might have saved or just to borrow them okay the last thing i have i promise this is not an ad but for days so or any clothes loop company you can think of like i know girlfriend collective has a re-girlfriend kind of thing i actually just placed my first order with them this weekend so i'm really new to them um for days you guys know how i feel about them i have a video about them this shirt is actually from them so very cute basically you buy something from for days and then when you rip it or stain it or get it dirty or whatever you send it back to them and a take back bag basically you put it in this bag they give you the label and everything when you're tired of this shirt you send it back to them you can swap it out for a new item that you get a discount on when you send this back stop hey i think that's all I have in terms of products and habits to tell you to do. <laughs> you might have noticed this video is a little bit more informal, I guess. I posted a vlog about this like a week and a half ago. Basically, I've been thinking about my channel a lot and where I want it to go and what I want it to be like. At the time of filming this, my views are way down and I've lost a couple subscribers, which ordinarily I would be very upset about and I don't feel that upset and I think that's maybe a good sign that I should change direction and not put as much pressure on this channel. I had a really high point, you know, in December and around that no shave vlog. Things were going really well and I thought they were going to keep going really well and they haven't. Um, but the fact that that hasn't bothered me, I feel like it indicates personal growth. Basically, I just want this to be fun and I don't I don't want to pressure myself for no reason, especially when I'm not making money here or having a ton of growth that I like need to pressure myself for. Like just 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 not everything has to make money. Not everything I do has to be super successful. I'm such a wing three. Anyways, guys, I don't know. I don't really have like finalized thoughts on that, but I just wanted to share more of it with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks if you stayed to the end. I was kind of rambling there. Love you guys. I will see you soon-ish. Again, not sure how much I'm going to be posting. I've still been going every week right now. I don't know. Just a lot up in the air with this channel, but I'm still having fun and I'm enjoying it more than I have in the past. So, okay. It doesn't matter. I'll see you guys at some point. Um, I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.